Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see what is the historical background of ASME. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. So ASME, as you know, stands for American Society of Mechanical Engineers, and it is a non-profit organization. The purpose of this organization is not to make profit. Okay, you'll understand it when we see the origin, how it started actually. Okay, so it's actually a collaboration, sharing of knowledge with each other. Okay, because let us see if there are 10 manufacturers. Okay, before code, okay, they must have been using some design by rule, some fabrication methodology developed during some period. Okay, that this is the set of rules, which is good. And this is how I will fabricate. They have certain rules. Okay. So if all of them come together and share that knowledge of design and fabrication, definitely a good book can be written, right? Then certain rules can be written with that. So that is how that ASME started. You know, uh, if all of the different manufacturers come together and share their know-how, written it, that this is how we'll do it. Like if some rules, all of them are following and it is giving good results, they will write it on. So, and please remember that if something is there in ASME, it does not mean that it will not change. Okay, They'll keep on upgrading. That is the beauty of it. Okay, If you are not upgrading your code, if you're not taking feedback from the actual manufacturers on daily to daily basis, your code over the time will not be usable. Okay, it will become obsolete if you're not upgrading it. Okay, so you have to make a system that is why that ASME has built so strongly. You know, it is followed worldwide. That is the reason because if you follow it, if it is followed by more people it gets feedback and that feedback system is very good in ASME. Okay. Lots of country or companies, people participate in that ASME uh, member and they keep on giving their feedback. Okay. And that is how uh, you know, the code is revised every two years now and they upgrade whatever has been missing because it's a continuous process, right? It's a, uh, it has to be evolved during the period okay so it it has to be done by all who are doing that work actually okay so you can see that 85000 members in 135 plus countries okay and if we have a strong feedback system see how much value can be generated right that is how our, like this platform also comes like if we are talking you know sharing knowledge if you guys are sharing something i can learn from you Okay, you can learn from me. So if we come together, that learning is much more, you know, it's multiplied. So that is how ASME is growing. So ASME was actually founded by three industrialists in the start. Okay, uh, these are the three names. You don't have to remember these names. Okay, so it started with, you know, uh, like everything starts due to a failure you know that time in around 1880 1890 there were lots of failures in boilers okay boilers were the first pressurized components we we used to make you know the steam was in very much use and we used to have lots of boilers okay so boilers started failing in many of the parts lots of boiler explosions you know and you can understand how much catastrophic it will be if a boiler fails such a pressurized and steam containing component if it fails it was huge loss of lives you know that was very difficult for people so when uh, this so the main turning point was the disaster in massachusetts a shoe factory where that boiler was uh, you know exploded and it led into finally meeting the people and saying, what is going wrong? You know, we need to monitor from each step that it's like if something happened, why it happened, you have to find out, right? So to find out what happened, 
if everything we are making without any code and standard every component is different then it's really difficult to find out what went wrong okay so because starting from the starting from the material procurement design how you welded how you formed that vessel what quality checks you did each and every step is having certain steps you know so total combinedly let us a thousand steps are there if every thousand step followed in different companies are different again it is multiplied okay i to finding the problem itself will become a very challenging so they thought let us make a standard like let us common things which will follow like if a material will take only from asme material the allowable will fix to a value only that you have to take okay so no change in factor of safety so this is how that asme you know started in 1905 okay and the committee was formed and it was keep on uh, improving that committee and that uh, section 1 the boiler code that was the first code which was created okay and then actually uh, you know section 3 also came be before that you know section 8 because nuclear was even evolved much earlier so actually the section 8 division 2 is very much influenced by section 3 okay somewhat relaxed but still it is you know follows the path of section 